Hi. The idea of Opera 5.0 uh, that we did in York, North Yorkshire at Red Car College uh, in December, myself, Sarah, and Peter Aoun, is actually an idea that was started by um, Murray Dam, Ray Dam, and uh, Watt Opera um, about oh, maybe 12 years ago here in Australia. And the idea is this that you go into a classroom situation with uh, students um, and you get them to write their own opera, a series of scenes, um, nine the most, and they write out their scenes on the first day. So they will write um, um, all the words to their opera, on the second day, they will sing every word in the opera we'll, with uh, the composer and myself, uh, and we will help them come up with the tunes, but it's all their music. We just give them a background. On the Wednesday, we cast the show, and in the afternoon, we, we paint up uh, four uh, flats, like the size of a door, uh, with a picture on it representing scenes from the show. Thursday we rehearse it, uh, and then Friday we rehearse one more time, and then we perform it in front of the public in the evening. Now, um, uh, Murray Dam with, with uh, What Opera, now it's called What Opera Express, has uh, developed this idea with, uh, uh, with um, a groups of, of uh, composers and directors, and his brainchild was to come up with this fantastic idea to be able to um, get students to make an original opera. Now, it's all their music. Um, you know, they don't all sing classical singing. It's whatever uh, music. The, the thing is, they have to sing everything. And as you can imagine, it's quite daunting for a group of um, students who've never done it before or ha have never even stood up and sang before. Now, Murray used to always say to me... Um, it changes lives. And I say, look, man, it's, um, we, we, uh, our job is to get kids to put on a show, but it does change lives. It's, it's amazing. The transformation of, uh, of what happens to the individuals. Um, they learn teamwork. They, they get confidence to stand up and sing and perform in a group in front of other people. I mean, um, that's life-changing. And usually the kids are year nine. Um, uh, but Murray has taken that project many different places, um, to hospitals and so on. So this project that uh, Sarah Sweeting and myself and Peter Aoun, Peter Aoun was the original uh, with uh, Murray, who started this uh, whole episode out uh, of doing opera with children. Now, um, so we did this in North Yorkshire in, uh, in England, and we had students aged between 14 and 21 at a technical college, a, uh, a vocational college. So um, it was a, in a pretty uh, tough neighborhood, and the kids there were quite, um, well, the students there were quite uh, shy. But by the end of the project, um, they excelled. They, um, they got up and sang. They performed. We told them they'd only have an audience of 12 people. They ended up getting about 60. I think the initiative of having something like this, uh, that Murray Dam in Australia, he's a Kiwi, um, uh, came up with is, is an amazing project. To do it in five days, five days, um, is, is quite a lot of energy put into it but uh, very rewarding. So um, these are just interviews of the uh, kids who came up with um, uh, well, the students with uh, their opera. And um, yeah, uh, congratulations, Red Car, and thank you, Murray. Um, uh, let's get this idea right around the world. Okay, peace out. Right, we're away, go. I'm studying hair and beauty in Red Car College. Okay, cool. So, um, what was Opera 5.0? So, you guys got to write your own... Oh, our own, like, script and performance. Cool. All right. 
Um, and uh, did you like doing it? Yeah. How come? Because it was like difficult and all you doing. So, um, so normally to doing, what was your course again? Hair and Beauty. Hair and Beauty, okay. Uh, that's the job that you want to do, uh, one of the jobs you want to do later on, yeah? Cool. Um, how old are you, Evie? 14. 14, wow. Awesome. So um, what did you get out of, the, uh, of doing this uh, Opera 5.0? Um, confidence and like, the ability of going to work with other people. I don't do that. You don't do that? I don't like working with like, groups of people. Right. But you found doing this experience helped? It makes it easier, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's more of a thing that you made yourself more confident. Yeah. I think you did a great job, by the way, considering um, you were 14. But it freaked me out when you told me that because I thought you were older. Okay, cool. Uh, would you, um, if, if something like this you know, did happen again while you were here, would you do it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thanks, Steve. All right, fire away. Uh, my name is Jack. Um, I'm doing what, entry level one construction. I've been here for the last seven weeks. Uh, the course I'm doing is uh, I can't remember the course. It's it it's uh, the, so you're you're Fund, here. Uh, foundation learning. Foundation learning. Okay. One. Okay. And then you'll go on to do construction after that, yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Tell me what what was Opera Five Point Oh. Uh, it's basically you start off by designing and yep. Uh, you're no, that's right. You're writing your own. You're writing your own show. Yeah, yeah. You're writing your own show. Designing it. You're designing, right. Designing, picking your music, and then and then performing it at the at the end and the fi the f fifth day. On the fifth day, that's right. It was all, it was pretty intense, wasn't it? Yeah. So tell me, uh, did you like doing it? Yes, it's helped. With the group and stuff, it's helped out build the confidence. Confidence. It's mainly well broken people's nerves and stuff. Getting yeah. out there and talking and. Oh really? Okay. So have you found uh, personally? How did it help you? Because you're quite a you're quite a very strong personality. Not being that scared to actually get out there and talk to people. It's built my confidence. Yeah. Very strongly and. Help build friendships that's going to last for quite a while. Did you did you enjoy yourself? Though? Yes. Okay. Very much. What 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 was it? I heard that you helped Kirsty uh, audition while well, go for one of the roles. Is that right? Yes. So what did you say to her? Uh, just forget about the what's happened during the week. Just think about the character and what you need to do in that day. It doesn't matter if you mess up, stumble. There's always going to be somebody there. Yeah. Who can help you? Well, remember your lines, and yep. we're all supportive, and everybody's nervous, yeah, nervous and scared. Yeah, like with Connor, at the start of the week, I would not have got up at all. He'd helped me build my confidence that much. Yeah, that I wanted to do what I did. The one of the main roles. Well, it was the biggest role. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, you did a great job, mate. You did a yeah. really, really good job. Um, if you were uh, talking to another group of people, would you recommend people from yes. here doing it? It's very fun. The support from yourselves has been awesome. And I would, if I could, I would do it again. Yeah, okay, man. I would love to do it all over again. Right. Well, you did a great job, man. So we can start, okay? Okay, go. So you're... My name's Leah. Yep. And I'm doing hair and beauty. Okay. At, at this college, yeah? Yeah. So um, what was Opera 5.0? It is singing and everybody gets involved. Okay. It, it's like... It's like national there. Yep. And then... Like, I think I like about it was everybody got involved and it's something different. Different yeah. from what you normally do, yeah? Yeah, because yeah. in this area, it's, like, not very... You know, like, of other places, everyone, like, talks to each other and where everyone keeps themselves. Everyone keeps to themselves, yeah. Yeah, and there's, like, not enough good things happening. Right. And there's more, like, bad things happening that need to be, like, prevented and make everyone happy, really. Okay. And you... What did you get, what did you get out of it, doing this project? 
I got like more confidence because I had like really lack of confidence. Right. And it just builded it up a bit and made me feel better that at least I did something. Cool. And not many people get to say they've done something and they're happy about it. He's exactly right. Awesome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vicky O'Connor. I'm course lead for foundation learning at Redcar and Cleveland College. Great. Um, now, I spoke to the students earlier. What is Opera 5.0? What was it? It was a week-long experience that the learners took part in. Um, day one to day five, they had to re... No, stop. They had to write their own opera, yeah? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's right. So they had to write their own opera. They had to write their own opera. They had to... Um, create the scenery for the opera, they had to yep. put music to what to it, they had to then perform the opera. They performed it. Now, uh, how many uh, participants were there in your class? There were 10 okay. students who took part in the opera. They all did different things, they all took different roles. Yep. Um, some were really keen to have a part um, on stage, some were a little bit less confident in doing that and helped with the scenery and the lighting. What is the uh, age range of the uh, students? The youngest student's 14, the oldest student was 18. So they don't necessarily, uh, well they're all such a big range, they don't actually normally hang out together? No, not at all. Okay. Um, it was two groups that had come together, so there was two different levels of students in that class. Yeah entry level and level one and they normally don't mix uh, but they did mix and mm. they met, made new friendships. So okay um, as I spoke to some of the students earlier they're here to do a course for vocation. Uh, this was uh, out of the box for them something they've never done yeah. before. Um, how do you feel they went during the week after the performance and then have you seen any difference in them since then, since you're their form so teacher? So before the performance and before the, the week took place, the, we'd spoke to them about it over um, several several weeks and several times because these students don't like change. You know, they've got special educational needs, a lot of them, and they don't adapt well to instant change. So they knew what was coming, they knew what to expect. However, when it was upon us, I think um, it was still a bit of a shock for them. And from day one, even just to day two, to day three, the, the difference in their behaviour, the way they spoke to each other, the team work um, was massive. But from going from not talking to anybody, not really communicating in class with each other, to then performing, um, writing together, singing together, painting the scenes together, um, you know, it, it made new friendships and it made, you know, it, it just bonded them. How has that um, sort of uh, benefited them since in terms of their, their general outlook for working in this environment as a vocational college? I think the, the, the confidence has grown massively. They'll do things now that they wouldn't necessarily do before. They'll step out of their comfort zone. Um, they've learned new skills and how to deal with issues that they may not have known how to have dealt with before. Um, they've got a lot more self-control, some more, di some more discipline, and I think um, the, the whole thing, the whole week has been a massive benefit to them socially and personally. Great. Um, uh, is there anything else I have to say about before I... I think it's an absolutely amazing thing and if you have the opportunity to do it, they should definitely do it. I was so sad when it finished. I was really... I wanted it to go on, but, you know, it, you, you worked really well with the students and we worked really well with the students, but you had a massive influence on them and you brought the best out in them. Yeah, they, they um, brought the best out of me as well, I think. Uh, they respond really well. Yeah. To, to you and um, it's, I think it's your calming voice. They, they have, uh, there was something that Leah said that I thought spoke out well because she said in her interview um, that it was good to do something good. There are a lot of bad things that go on um, and she, I think she was alluding to uh, how life can be tough outside of a college. Um, but it, 
I saw personally the change in what they did uh, made a big difference to their lives. Yeah. And, and what we're here to do is show. But the, the, the benefits after and yeah. around this show uh, um, are great. And, and by the way, you, you sang very well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so go. Hi, I'm uh, Connor Reynolds. Um, I'm in Foundation and Learning Level 1. I'm doing construction. Fantastic. So what, what, what is Opera 5.0? Well, it, it was like we did like a week of, um, like we had to make opera in a week. Okay, so that was writing your own stuff. Yeah, like it never was done before. It's our original audio. Your original one. show and your music too, yes? yes? Okay, uh, did you like it? Yes, it was quite uh, fun. Okay, what did, you, um, what did you get out of it? I got um, teamwork. And the confidence, afterwards, the confidence I had that I have done something that I've never thought I'd do in my life. Really? It was quite, it was quite good. So, um, you auditioned for a role, yeah? Yes, it okay. was Vincent. And uh, wh what, why did you want to go for the role of Vincent? Why did you want to audition? I wanted to audition because um, I didn't see the point in, like, not trying. What's the point of not trying when you can try something and have fun as you're doing it? Yeah, okay. Um, you helped a couple of people in the show. Yeah. Uh, now, Jack just spoke about that. He just said that uh, that you encouraged him to go yeah, for it. Yeah. So wh why did you want to help Jack out like that? Because if, if I was in their shoes, they'd help me. Yeah. And I'm good friends with Jack and... I see if I'm if I can do something, and I see someone who can't do it, I'd help them. Yeah. Because it, it's a good thing to do. Okay. So um, can I say, um, ask then, if you're um, if you were to talk to another group about doing this, uh, would you recommend it to them? Yes, I would. What would you say to them? They could I'd get say give it a go because at the end of it all, you benefited so much that. It's something that you'd thought you'd never do, and it's a very good thing to achieve in your life. Okay, so that's great. So just let's just to wrap up. You you did something you've never done before. Yeah. Okay, and you got and you by the way you did it really well, um, and you were great with the group, etc. So personally, you how did you feel that you got gains from it? Personally, I feel like that. I got to know people in my class better than I would have if we didn't do this. Oh, uh, okay. And I think they got to know me a bit better. I think it opened it up more to each other. Great, and you could work really we well. Connected, even the staff. We connected with the staff. Cool. That's awesome, man. Okay, right. Go. We are in College, Opera 5.0. It was great. great. <laughs> Give me your name. Connor. Jack. And? We are the Rickham Cleveland College. Oh, I missed all something. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, so, we are... <laughs> we are who? We are Rickham and Cleveland. Don't ignore what we're saying. Okay. All right. We'll just go. Rickham. Ready? Go. Rickham. Rickham. <laughs>